Well, uh, my name is Michael Burns, as you know. I'm the new president of Northside Community Housing Incorporated. And I'm actually a former resident of the Ville and Greater Ville communities. So uh, I was just, uh, I was happy and elated with the opportunity to come back to the community and try to use my skills to do whatever I can to help uh, this community grow and prosper the way I remember it being uh, in my early developmental years here in the Ville. Well, the first time, I think I was blessed to be able to get a house here. I've been here now this past August for about eight years and I really consider it a blessing to live here. So I really, really like living in the area. A lot of changes have come about within the eight years. I can see progress, growth in the area. And, um, and so I really like it and then I just was, I just felt to come over and volunteer across here, here at Northside. I really like being over here with Candy and some of the other people that are here. People seem like they have a heart for the neighborhood, for the community, and that's important to me as far as my neighbors, and that's a concern that people are concerned about what we want and the better for the community. So I think, I, I think I'm gonna be here for a while. Uh, well, I've been volunteering here for a number of years, um, and I think my first motivation goes way back to Chuck Berry, because I spent a lot of time uh, growing up out in Wentzville, and that area when Wentzville was still a tiny town. You know, Mr. Berry had Berry Park out there. I uh, knew that Chuck Berry was from the Ville, and then later as I uh, spent time in St. Louis, the city of St. Louis, and realized that, you know, the Ville also had this incredible history. Um, I just felt very motivated to, to be a part of it and, and the renovation and revitalization of it. My ultimate dream for the bill is to see uh, a renewed, mixed income, mixed use, thriving community, uh, similar to what it used to be in the 20s, 30s, 40s, all the way up to the 80s, really. Um, and I want to see a community that's built around the history and the legacy that was here and to a certain extent still is here. And in order to help with that, I've done things like I've started the Young Friends of the Ville, which is a group that is part of the board of Northside that's focused on galvanizing young professionals around the neighborhood to support it, fall in love with it, and then eventually uh, plant their own roots in the neighborhood, whether it be through business ownership or residency. Um, and I, I also started a project with uh, a couple, I like to call them legacy residents because they've been here forever, called Ford the Field, so that we can go forth and teach people in the region about the history of this neighborhood since it's oftentimes forgotten. And with all of those things, I'm hoping that you know, we get some renewed energy and momentum that will lead to uh, the, a healthy revitalization. I, I especially think it's wonderful that we're going to be uh, rehabilitating the old uh, Star Laundry building and a couple of other buildings. Uh, we've got so many beautiful buildings and homes here in the Ville. I'd love to design houses and things like that. And, um, so just the idea of uh, having more homes in the Ville, I think Northside Community Housing has done a great job over the years. And I know that um, there's a demand for housing here. And so, yeah, I, I, think, I just think it's really, really exciting that we finally got the LIHTC approval from um, Missouri Housing Development Corporation go ahead with the project. I think uh, what I like most about that is the fact that that development is right at the corners of St. Ferdinand and Sarah. And uh, what I see as a possibility is the fact that we can join with the other communities that, that are just south of that location, uh, especially those that are in the area where McCormick Barron has some developments and we can find our way to, to uh, enhance our properties right in that area and also double back and move north on Sarah 
continue with the development on past the uh, Sarah Luz and, and, and the uh, Sarah and uh, Labity area. So we can redevelop those areas and let that be a thoroughfare in order to come through this community as well as all the enhancements that I've heard that uh, Alderman, uh, the Alderman is going to be doing in the area, especially when it relates to uh, Martin Luther King Drive. I guess growing up as a kid, I used to come to this side or this neighborhood to go to the Annie Malone parades, parades. And I just saw just beautiful buildings, people outside playing all the time. So as an adult, my hope for the Ville where I live is to get back to where we once was, where it was a neighborhood of families, uh, neighborhood of businesses. We have the mom and pop stores. We have places where people take pride in where they live. So excited because that <laughs> begins uh, making my dream or my reality uh, come true. My long-term vision is really to, to bring back the, the loving community that I grew up around. You know, when I grew up in the Ville community, uh, we had a lot of businesses in the community, everything from Fry's Drugs, Stone Drug Store, Pioneer Barbershop, uh, the famous historic Sarah Lou, uh, which we all enjoyed the shrimp from there. Uh, there were a lot of thriving businesses in the community. Uh, there was a, a sense of camaraderie in the community. And I want to do whatever I can do to, to help uh, spearhead some of those efforts to bring back uh, community development, both from a, a physical perspective, a spiritual perspective, a social perspective. And, and whatever we can do here at Northside, you know, we're getting uh, prepared to do those things that can help enhance the community and really help to empower our residents. I think Mr. Byrne is going to bring a great change to the, uh, to the north side housing and I think he's going to bring a lot of things that we need that we haven't had. So I'm looking forward to being here. I'm looking forward to working with him. I'm excited. I think he's a little excited. I'm excited about the 40th year uh, anniversary. I'm really excited about that, looking forward to the big celebration on the 23rd. I think it's going to be something good and something that will kind of open other people's eyes up to see what's going on. Northside has been here doing housing since 1977, and now we have, you know, Anheuser Busch, which is just another you know, huge chunk of history and success, of course, for the city of St. Louis, um, giving us their, you know, we've got the beer garden and food and drink and uh, the Ron Wilkerson Jazz Quartet. I just think it's going to be a very fun celebration and I hope everybody can come out and join us.